There's a throat cut deep, yes, there lies the lint beneath the sky. The clamor so loud for the reply, ferocity, brutality, and atrocity. Is this the vanity that you call humanity? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it vindicates, but still the value of occupied Kashmir wants answer from the advocator of peace, but actually the bringer of war. That is this the vanity that you call humanity? My listeners, back to 10 December 1948. 71 years ago, International Human Rights Declaration was adopted with an intent to give, protect, and observe inalienable human rights to which all human beings without any discrimination are entitled. But wait. What contained in occupied Kashmir, where unfortunately humanity is best described as inhumanity just because of the so-called sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic of India, the worst criminal, the biggest usurper. Mr. President, one of the universal principles say crime, wheresoever, whatsoever, must pay the penalty. But welcome to Eden on Earth, Kashmir, where India's crime against humanity are not only measurable, but also yet in question. Today, I'll take this time out to highlight just few, just a few serious crimes of India against humanity in IOK. The very first article of human rights protects the innate freedom and equality. But look in occupied Kashmir, where each freedom fighter is taken as a terrorist, we demand a very basic right of self domination is a huge, huge crime and where India, while resorting to various tactics of tyranny and oppression, left no stone unturned to silence the voice of oppressed Kashmiris and to suppress their just right of freedom. To snatch one's freedom is doubtless the worst crime. But ladies and gentlemen, the story of crime does not end here. Article 2 clearly talks about freedom from any sort of discrimination. But see, in occupied valley of Kashmir, where Muslims have been paying huge penalty for being Muslims on every social, political, educational, even on culture grounds, where slow but constant Muslim genocide is underway, this also violating human rights and assembly resolution 96 and 260. And when not only Muslims, even Christians and Dalits are being discriminated in each and every walk of life, a clear violation of Article 2, but the crimes are still on and the criminal is still free. Article 3 saves the right of life, liberty and personal security, but come and see in my poor Kashmir. Where blood of Kashmir is so cheap, where extrajudicial killing and enforced disappearance are the order of the day, where freedom of speech is banned, but raids and lootings by Indian army are common, where innocents are being assaulted, and molested, and tortured on a daily basis just to subdue their revolt against brutal Indian army. Respected audience, the hours and hours will be passed, but India's crime against humanity. Killing and killing human bodies everywhere, human pets everywhere, people dividing their blood runs. Sons, orphans, and daughters waiting for their fathers forever. People of Kashmir dying and the children of Kashmir crying. Whenever someone talks about Indian occupied Kashmir, my men throw all the talks of the so called international champions into a dustbin. They claim themselves to be the most powerful weapon against our brutality, ferocity, and morality. India's crimes against humanity are reported by more than dozens of international organizations, including the extrajudicial killing, torture, rape, murder, disappearances, long detention without charge, the trying and the destruction of the properties. Indian security forces are burning the houses of the Eastern Kashmiris with the exclusive materials. Prolonged, sensitive, and the merciless beatings with the sensory parts of the body during the COSA, which is the clear evidence of the India's crimes against the humanity into the Indian occupied Kashmir. Kashmir media reports stated that India is using the chemical weapons in the grab of the curtain and search to hide its crimes from the international community. India sought to the humanity with the rise of the Hindu nationalist Bhatia Janta Party has deeply alienated its Muslim minority. Indian security forces, including the Indian Army, CRPF, and BSF, have been accused and held accountable for committing the swear crimes against the humanity into the Indian occupied Kashmir. Research scholar Mazamil Haq stated that India is committing the genocides of the Kashmiri Muslims to quell the uprising. Seema Kazmi says that it is used as a weapon of the war by the state. 2010 U.S. State Department stated that India has carried out the extrajudicial killing of the suspected insurgents in the Kashmiri civilians. These atrocities, these ferocities, the genocides, persecution, executions, oppressions, repressions, and aggressions carried out by the Indian security forces and the butcher of the Gujarat Narendra Modi are converting this beautiful land into the hell. Religious freedom violation has greatly increased in the Indian occupied Kashmir, but the international ambassadors of the religious freedom are silent. 
world has considered the 20th century the bloodiest period of the global history one of the example of the bloodiest part of the earth is the kashmir about half of the million soldiers stationed here in the now kashmir is reaching to its violent tipping point the 2018 has been deadliest in decades for the occupied kashmir with a recurring one is claiming about the 600 lives the death toll include the 250 freedom fighters and the 150 civilians the majority of the occupation forces including the six month pregnant lady in the kakapura the person with the intellectual ability school going girls college students farmers laborers professors it is shocking about 21 people are killed in the indian occupied kashmir during the first month of the 2019 Ladies and gentlemen, the use of the pellet gun was banned in the Spanish region of the Catalonia in 2014 after the seven people were blinded by their use in the Barcelona. But